Hi there guys, Harvey here, back again for another, or well, the second edition of the Palace Daily. Um, so obviously yesterday I started off the new series where each day I'm going to talk about a different Palace talking point, get your guys' opinions, uh, see what you guys think. So yesterday we did the new Palace home and away kit, I'm very very happy with both of them and it seems like you guys are as well. Um, thank you for all your comments. One guy, Joe, in the chat said about uh, the red, not sure about the red lines on top of the shoulder. For me, I think it's just a really good throwback to the old kit. I think that's why they've done it. They've tried to make it a modern day version of that old 1970s sash. Um, sorry if it's a bit loud, I'm right next to a road. I'm on my way into London right now. Um, thought I'd whip out my phone and start doing this video. Um, but yeah, very, very happy with how the video's gone, guys. Thank you very much for the, your early views and responses. A lot of people loving the kit. But today, I'm gonna set a new question to you guys that was, in the comments that I, I saw uh, for yesterday's video, and that was from Callum, and he was saying there's a number of players uh, at Palace that are out of contract in the summer, and he asked, how do you think we'll cope without them uh, if we don't sign them? And I think he's referring to the two main ones of Joel Ward and Yohan Kabai. Personally, I think Ward's, uh, looking like Ward's going uh, for me, and it looks like Kabai's gonna be going as well, in my honest opinion, I think both are gonna go. Out of the two of them, I would love to keep Kabai. Uh, if Ward went, I would be upset, obviously, because he's a legend of the club in a way. He's kept us up. He's, you know, FA Cup final, got us promoted. He's done a lot for the club. But um, uh, I, I, I would accept him going because he's done everything he can for the club. And I think now Wam Saka coming through, you've got players that are ready to take that first team spot. With Kabai, I still think he's got unfinished business with the club, but he hasn't really kicked off, in all honesty, we all love him at Palace, but he hasn't done exactly what I think all of us hoped he would have done, which is added goals and assists to our game. He's been more of a defensive rock at the back. He's been, or plucking it in the midfield, interceptions, things like that, uh, which have been brilliant, but I think we were expecting more goals and assists from his game. So I still think he's got a bit of unfinished business. I'd love if we could get a one year deal extension on his contract, personally, and, um, and then see if we say goodbye to him next summer. But those are my thoughts, guys. Please, in the comments below, um, write your opinions. Like, share, and subscribe, as always. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying these little Palace daily things. I will be doing a West Brom preview tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow.